Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here's Forty's Garage. On today's episode for Project Boxster, we're gonna take this door back off, just sitting on hinges, and we're gonna tackle this front rocker panel. It's pretty messed up. Hopefully it's just exterior pieces, uh, and we can cut it off and then weld it back on. Do you have a replacement here that we got from a junkyard, salvage yard? So wait for the father-in-law to show up and then we'll get busy. Okay guys, we're over here. We're gonna do some testing on this. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the wire wheel and uh, take off all this paint here so we can get to the uh, spot welds. Got the spot weld removal tool here. And then we'll take the cutoff wheel here and uh, see if we can do a cut. Looks like we can get a lot of, there's a lot of space in here between the inner and outer, but we got more than enough room on here to do some testing. Uh, see how this is going to work. So let's, uh, I'll set up the camera and, and just do a time lapse on that. guys we did our test cut came out pretty decent kind of know how the depth we can go let's give it a shot on here wish me luck Yeah, once it goes in, it freaking cuts like butter. It, it almost pulls you forward. Yeah. You gotta be really ready. Yep. So. Ooh, look at what it did to that. Thank God I have that. <laughs> yeah, if you did not God, it's not time yet. I mean, when you look at it, it should, I mean, it's all crumpled over, but. Yeah. But, I mean, this part you gotta save. Mm -hmm. But, I'll buy anything else. <clears throat>
doing your, your grinder thing here. I think there's a couple rivets here that, that can be pulled out. Cut this shit off right here. Oh, I can't. That's part of the body. This part right here is no. part of the body. But I'm looking at this piece that wraps off here goes to there. Just Can you just clean it off with your... You see, that's where... Let's see here. Oh, I see what you're saying. I just think there's some stuff there. My hope is gone now. I mean, there's, there's, there's a rivet right up there. See? see oh, right? yeah, you can see it right there. There's two pieces. Yeah, and there's, you can just can... start to see that rivet there. Yeah. I think right. that rivet's right there. Yep, I see what you're saying. They, okay. they got like a bunch of body filler in that thing. That's that seam sealer. <laughs> that does. That looks like bomb. Does it? To me, it does. Future brings much shame, confused but not controlled. Now I wait. Got her, you got her. guys we got her off wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be the good news is no structural damage here underneath so all good to go just a little bit on this seam here we can pull that out but here's the uh, here's the piece that was on there just kind of cut her off really moused up there so calling this a huge win Hey guys, we got a lot of work done off camera. I apologize for that. I just had a lot of things going on the last couple weeks and didn't get a chance to, to film everything that we were doing. But as you can see, we've got all the body panels on. We got the door, the fender, the front uh, bumper, uh, obviously the hood was on, and we even cut and um, kind of placed in temporarily the front rocker. So let me grab the camera and show you what we did. Okay, as you can see, we got the rocker temporarily put in you can see the clamp down there um, not welded at all still practicing that by the way uh, but the uh, door here was really tight when we first did it this gap right here was really tight so we've got that gapped a little bit better uh, let me open up the door here and kind of show you the rocker um, hopefully the lights decent in here but you can see we got a little gap here ready to be welded I just got it kind of tucked in here uh, with the trim or the rubber gasket here for the door. So kind of holding it in place. And then underneath here, we've got, you know, a clamp on that. So um, kind of holding that in place so we can kind of test fit everything. So coming back out here, door shuts nice. I like that. We've got a decent gap here for the fender within spec. You got the gap here coming all the way down for the hood. Looking really good. Place the light in here so we can see how that looks. That looks good. You got the front bumper or fascia here. Got a nice gap going along here. I think the, the hood is down a little bit more because I got a little bit of a lip here. But I think once we get the trims on the inside, that'll, that'll raise that up a bit. But yeah, so everything seems to be fitting decent. Um, all the gaps seem to be decent. Um, if anything, I'd want the door to come a little bit that way. But uh, we did have to do some adjustments on the door too. Let me grab the hinges so we can show you that. Okay, coming in on the hinges. Here are the hinges right here. You got one here, one there. And the, the door just kind of uh, sits in that. So this is a hinge from the door, as you can see here. 
it's this top hinge up here and it kind of just sits in this conical in there there is no adjustment on this right here or this here for the uh for the door you can move this around a little bit um the one thing i wanted to show you inside this let me get it in the light here a little bit inside this you can see there's a little plastic sleeve plastic jacket if you need to you can go ahead and drill uh, that a little more i guess to the side to give yourself some more adjustments or you could just take it completely out i ended up taking it completely out because my door was sitting um too far out this way so to get that gap back in i had to take it out so that i could move it over more uh towards the inside so that's what we had to do on the door um a bit of a pain in the ass spent a lot of time doing that you can see the uh the quarter or the uh, rocker panel here so lines up pretty decent um i think we got it in pretty good shape there but uh as far as the hinges you know it was a little bit of a rough go on that but we did end up getting it all set up and as you can see the door shuts very nice um the the gap here um i would say it's not 100 percent to spec but it's within a millimeter so i'm pretty pretty happy with that but all in all, guys, we are getting close, very close. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this week's video. Uh, a lot going on with these hinges and getting this door lined up. I'm really happy with the way the gaps are right now. So, now what are we gonna do in the next video? Next video, I'm gonna take this fender back off from the front bumper, of course, and we are gonna try welding in the bracket that holds on the front radiator. And if we get that done, we can install the front radiator and then we can do a test rip. That's right, boys, a test rip in the old Boxer Project. So stay tuned. If you like what you're seeing, give us a like, thumbs up, and a subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Never really want you.